We have checked that every valve is closed. Jared's gonna turn the water on. Here goes nothing. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are getting back to plumbing. I say get back to the plumbing because while I did fail to film it, we had actually already started on it. We've already installed the pump and accumulator as well as two water filters. One sediment filter for the entire airstream and then a better filter for our drinking water. We started from scratch with the plumbing in Pauline and we're using expansion PEX pipe for all of the new plumbing. You can see us here piecing together a run of the hot water line. Once we had put together the pieces of pipe, we then used, I don't know, there's probably a technical term for them, but I call them Lego hands because that's what they look like, which you can screw into the wood and then the pipe just snaps into place. Jared made this plumbing diagram, which in addition to showing us where we needed to run lines, made it very satisfying to highlight the lines we had already run as we completed them. Once we finished all of the interior plumbing, we moved outside to install the fresh water inlet. We applied butyl tape to the back of the inlet. Then I held the screws in place from the outside while Jared tightened on the nuts from the inside. Then he came out and used a utility knife to cut away the excess butyl tape that had been pressed out as we tightened the inlet into place. Then he went back with Acryl R sealer to seal all the way around. With all of the fresh water lines run, it was time for a pressure test. Dang, we're hooked up. We have checked that every valve is closed. Jared's gonna turn the water on. Here goes nothing. I forgot to talk in this clip because I was so nervous, but essentially my inner monologue was something like, is it leaking? I don't see any leaks. Don't jinx it, don't think that. Do you hear anything? I don't hear anything. Is the water moving? Please no leaks. I don't see any leaks. No leaks. Once we finished the fresh water lines, we turned our attention back to propane and finished running those lines as well. I don't have any footage of this because it turns out it's kind of stressful to work with flammable substances, but the oven works now. After we finished the propane, we turned our attention to the less glamorous side of plumbing, that is emptying the tanks. Today what we're going to be doing is fitting together everything for the gate valve. So this is for the gray water tanks. So this is how we're gonna remove all the water from the tanks. This holds all that water back. So we have to put this thing together. Now, this comes with some slip sockets. Actually, they had to be ordered separately, as well did this device right here, which actually opens up the gate valve for us. So we push a button and that'll open up and release all the water, which is a pretty nice little feature. So as with everything on an Airstream, it's really small, really tight spaces that we're working in, but I think we can get everything to fit. So what we have to do today is just figure out how to put all of this stuff together. So we're gonna take our gate valve, open it up, and we're just gonna, we need to remove this handle from it. So just twist off the handle right there. It's about the only thing we're not gonna need by the end of this. Everything else you see here we'll use. We're gonna take our slip sockets, and we're gonna put these rubber gaskets on both of them. That's just gonna keep the water from trying to escape outside of the gasket as it's flowing through the valve here. So we're gonna put each of these on the valve. We'll put it on one side and the other, and then we'll bolt it to the valve body right here. We're gonna put two bolts through. We're only gonna put them on the bottom because we're actually gonna need those top holes right there on the valve body for the next step. So we'll just lightly put these on for the moment just to try to keep the uh, gasket from moving around. If it moves around too much it could slide off and become damaged if we tighten it up on there without realizing it. So we're going to put those on there just kind of lightly. Now we're going to set that aside for the moment and pick up this device. This is the device that's going to actually move the valve for us. Now we have to make sure that we put this on 
in the correct direction, okay? So if we put it on this direction, the screw head is not going to allow this to work correctly. It's gonna be off balance. So we need to turn that around, make sure that the screw head is in the middle of this hole right here. And then we're gonna turn it around from there, take our bolt, take the washer, make sure you use that. And we're gonna put that through right there. And again, just kind of lightly tighten up this lock nut. Um, we're just gonna go as far as we can by hand right now, and then we'll tighten that up later. All right, now we've left a little bit of play in here, which is good because we have this piece to put on top. But before we do that, we're gonna put in our spacer right here. Future Meredith coming in with a slight correction here. The directions were not very clear. You actually put the C-shaped piece on first and then put the nut on to hold it in place. You'll see that later as we test it. That, make sure that valve is completely closed because we want that underneath this plastic right here. We're gonna rotate it so that we can now put this screw into the top thread that in and that is essentially all put together after some brief troubleshooting because nothing ever goes quite as planned everything is hooked up correctly we've got this thing we so this was one of the adjustments that we had to make don't tighten this up completely you want a little bit of play in this so that it doesn't bind up on the motor and then after that, we'll hit the open. There we are. Close. That's it. And with that, the plumbing system was complete from freshwater inlet to gray water outlet. We still have a lot of projects left, but getting plumbing and propane done is a huge weight off our minds. Tune in next time where hopefully we'll be building the shower.